So we're going to work on a little sequence which ultimately ends up in the saddle position. It's going to start in a straight foot lock attack from straight foot lock. Ben's going to defend by standing up and I'll end up in single leg X. From single leg X, I'm going to then transition to reverse X. And from reverse X, we've got a nice entry into the saddle from there. This is a really common thing that happens because one of the most common defenses for the straight ankle lock is for your partner to stand up. And when you do this, this whole sequence works as one and it often catches your partner out because he's focusing on the straight foot lock and he's not ready for the saddle entry. So I'm here like this and I'm going to go for my straight foot lock and genuinely I'm going for a straight foot lock. This isn't going to work unless I'm, unless I'm going for it. So I go for my straight foot lock and Ben defends accordingly. He stamps his foot and he stands up and I end up in this single leg X position. From here, I want to act straight away. So Ben stood up and a lot of his weight is sitting on this leg at the moment. And whilst it's sitting on the leg, I'm at the perfect time to strike. So from here, I take my outside leg and I drop it underneath into this reverse X position. As soon as I get to reverse X and I'm here, I'm grabbing Ben's arm and my goal is to stop him from posturing up. So I grab and I'm holding him tight. Now from here, I'm going to elevate his hips. And this is the tricky bit and it's hard to get your head around it. My outside leg is going to walk around the outside and then come back in and chop on that side. So I push up and I elevate like this. My outside leg comes out and I chop and end up in this saddle position. So I'll go through it again. I'm here and I'm going for my straight foot lock. Ben's reaction is to stand up. This time, as he's standing, I'm already throwing my leg underneath for this reverse X position. I'm holding onto the arm to stop him from posturing up. Now I elevate the hips, my outside leg shoots out and I catch in my saddle position and end up in the saddle. There's a couple of tips that will make this seem much easier. Number one, if your partner's done this entry before and they kind of help you and move into that position, it'll help you understand it. In the future, you won't need them to move at all. But if you don't understand the mechanics, it's really hard to get your head around it. The second thing and the most important thing, if we come back to that standing position in single leg X, is that when I get here, my legs have to cross completely and then cross back. When they cross in this space here, my opponent's leg is going to fall into that space in between here like this, and that's where that saddle entry is, and then they cross back. And getting used to that can be quite hard to get your head around. So I'm here like this, I break the posture, I try and lift the hips up, because if I lift the hips up, Ben's gonna just fall into that space. I pull through, he falls, I capture, and come down in this saddle position. We'll just quickly go through it in real time. So in real time, it should look like this. I'm here like this, I attack a straight foot lock. Ben stands up, as he stands, I come underneath, lift up, and finish in the saddle. So we're gonna do this another time on split screen so you can see from multiple angles. I'm here and I'm going for my straight foot lock. Ben's reaction is to stand up. This time, as he's standing, I'm already throwing my leg underneath for this reverse X position. I'm holding onto the arm to stop him from posturing up. Now I elevate the hips, my outside leg shoots out and I catch in my saddle position and end up in the saddle. I'm here like this, I attack the straight foot lock. Ben stands up. As he stands, I come underneath, lift up, and finish in the saddle.